Viewers and subscribers, this is Guyanese News. Welcome. The unaliving of paper sharks is finally going to start in the court session because today is when Azadi Mohammed and Bascom is scheduled to arrive in court to settle this defamation lawsuit. If you're new to this YouTube channel and you want breaking and trending Guyanese news, smash the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section we are going to play a video with this person exposing mohammed and giving us some explanation of why mohammed is in court with sergeant bascom if you don't know who is bascom bascom was a police sergeant who gave the public of guyana a different alternative a different narrative concerning the, the unaliving of paper shards and Bascom accused Mohammed of doing it. And Mohammed sued Bascom for $200 million. And this is one of the stories that is appearing in court. But we are going to play a video, like I stated, who is going to explain more about this story. If you're new to this YouTube channel, smash the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment in the comment section. Let's get this video started. And Azadin Mohammed is being represented by Punai and Punai, the same attorney that writes the letters to me de demanding money that Azadin Mohammed claims that I have for him. Bear in mind, I have been flooded with him, obviously flooded with messages. People telling, yes, yeah, it's a good thing you do, critic and this and that. But a lot of people are asking the question is why? I mean, this man, right time to me, partner, we in the gym, and he said, you know, if we get wrong, you go away, you go me way. Where's all this fucking thing? Who, who, and where you tech, and who follow Jack, do you know all them things? Because they buy petty and small-minded. Simple as that. Get to the facts of the matter, what happened in the court yesterday. In my perspective, in my opinion, I watch the, the Punai and Punai is representing, um, Azadine Mohammed and Bascom is being represented by Nigel Hughes. I'm no fan of Nigel Hughes, but looking at what's going on, I know he's a good liar outside of that and sitting in the court and for the first time seeing Nigel Hughes perform, making presentations before the court. It was nothing elaborate yesterday, it was nothing special, but I think. He represented well. Now to go back to have an understanding of what's going on before we go into the court. So in the court, I was present. As the Dean Muhammad was present, I just sat on about three feet away from me. And I was having the thought of why the fuck all of this going on? Why all of this going on? It didn't make no sense. But then you ask yourself, in life... He just got so much money that he don't know what to fucking do with it. You understand? He ship it on a different level. The only thing that suit him, what a suit we got, and the only thing that fucking suit him that he could dress with is a fucking dunce cap. Because everybody with money is asking, he's wanting to buy, what's the plan, what's the end game? What are you trying to forget? He will be causing the diminishment of the Mohammed's empire in a fucking lifetime. If you look at empires that failed, is some fucking ass will never work for money. Come and fuck up the empire. Because the Mohammed's have an empire, they're wealthy. But how you did, how you does acquire and maintain wealth? By making good ties and developing yourself and, 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 and making the right investment. Me? I ain't to show business. Look at critic with you there. Anything? I ain't to show business. Who you are watching this morning? Tag the story. <laughs> That's my business. That's how I was making money. You trying to tell me this fool 
make you fucking money with gold and come for fight with me and Basco. This how you do it. And the empire got last. You hear about the Rockefellers and all them? When they make the fucking money, they tell them the back of the class. People just gotta go and look for them for dig them out and talk about all the plots of how they make money. And they don't come and answer. But what happened? People with money, education, and a background get recognition. Nobody other than the poor people with this by help recognizes him. You never notice that? Huh? Y'all ain't paying attention. Other than people who have nothing else, who glad for picture fans and them kind of thing. Who the fuck you see here? You see anybody of substance and background there on the by? Nobody catching this evidence. Nobody paying attention to them. You see anybody with any substance there on them people though? Which one friend they got? Like them people got enough associates. Enough people are buying gold from, they're selling gold to, they're doing cash business. Enough people, enough wealthy people link with these people. Enough. You name fucking one of them, or oh, come out and say, the Mohammeds is good people. You name one of them, other than them fucking people with the team, I'm page in the comments. You understand what I'm going on? It's a set of fluff. People living in a fucking dream that, yeah, I could think and I can dress like this guy, I can look like this, I glad, but look like this guy, I glad, but get rich like this guy. You willing for do it, got what it takes to get them kind of money, though? You willing for do it? Huh? He never do a day of fucking hard work. He didn't know what hard work look like. He has never been successful at anything. That's the problem people don't know. Azadeen Muhammad has never been successful at anything. He got the, he got the best, fastest car in the Caribbean. Matter of fact, the fastest car in the Caribbean. You know how we get it? He go and buy the fastest car in the fucking world. The problem with him, he doesn't know when you go in the court. Like when we sit on in the court yesterday, he was Azadeen Muhammad. That was Mikhail Rodriguez. The fucking judge is the boss. Everybody, when, when, um, Punai the out, he's a lawyer. And when Nigel Hughes the out, he's senior counsel. You understand? In the fucking court, the judge is the boss. And you sit down before, everybody there saw, bowing, you have to know if it's God's country come meet. And this he problem, he pay attention. When you go to the court system, it's nonsense. It makes no sense. Imagine you subjecting yourself to another man rule. I sit down there and I want to tell you, I say, partner, this ain't making fucking sense. I want to tell you, as a man who knew him and know he's a fucking don't stop brain nigga. You understand? Don't go guy yourself around about him, could let sleeping dogs lie, forget about it. Now, to put it into perspective as what is going on and where the court system is, yesterday, the Punai, as the Dean Lawyer, made representation, made four submissions. One of them suddenly, suddenly made a submission yesterday and today, again, 9.30 is the case. I got left here just now because I want to sit down in the court in here. He made a submission yesterday for ring fencing in camera court matter so me here though, means close all the evidence and everything that is given now neil uh, bascom said what he said publicly bascom accused azadeen muhammad publicly in a video of playing a role in Paper shots for Gondes murder. 
publicly. Azadine Mohammed sue Bascom publicly. And went to court yesterday and basically his lawyer said, let's keep what happens in the court a secret. The judge said no. What the judge did is gave a warning. Well, only me could have been talking to because they had no other journalists in the court. And no fucking body wouldn't have reported if I hadn't been there. Nobody even know these matters exist. Do you know Bascom is before the court for cybercrime in relation to the same matter? Where Sarabu come and said in the court, in a magistrate's court, when cross-examined, so Rabu gave sworn testimony. Sarabu is a serving member of the Guyana police force. The same man who went to America and serve Rickford Burke with his documents. Or see the serving of the documents on Rickford Burke. Right? Oversaw the survey of because is a, a man, an American man, duly appointed in the state of New York, served Rickford Burke. Sarabu, as a representative of the Guyana Police Force, witnessed that service of a summons. Rickford Burke is another one trying for dodgy case. He's saying, Yeah, lie for me. He come in to prove the case of extortion wrong. He come in for put evidence. He trying to cover up the case there before the high court presently. Because he knows the evidence of extortion is clear. Rickford Burke is another one. Today we deal with Azadine Mohammed. Now, Azadine Mohammed's lawyer made four submissions. The only one that I re it really dawned upon me is when they got asked, Bascom is the man looking bad. Bascom is the man with talk all the talk. So were you trying to protect Bascom? Were you trying to protect the evidence? What is going to happen? And the judge is going to make a ruling this morning on one of the submissions the judge is going to make his decision clear aware this morning because nigel Hughes is asking sarabu to come to the court because in a different matter in the magistrate's court sarabu said yes azadeen muhammad and mark grinmon when he was investigating, were suspects in Paper Shards murder. You know, he's become a suspect in a murder. I don't think a lot of people following. You know, he's become a suspect in a murder. Evidence would have to point in a direction. Do you know there are no other suspects in Paper Shards murder? You know, in a lot of cases when it's confusing, like for instance, here how he has been. When a wife is killed, the first person to look as a suspect is the husband, close family members. Because 15% of the time, it is so. When a husband is killed, you get a line of suspects. Do you know? They are not a line of suspects as it relates to the paper shards murder. Did you know that? Guyanese people don't know because the stories have not been told. The truth has not been told. Azadine Mohammed and Mark Grimman are at the top of the suspect list as it relates, relates to Paper Shards murder. How do you become a suspect? Somebody just pick up just and decide, this man is a fucking suspect? Why would anybody do that? Why would this man come out? Why was this man sidelined when he was supposed to be investigating the matter? Or playing some part in the investigation? 
Why was Sarabu taken off the case? These are questions that gotta be asked. Now this banner, as Reed Muhammad wholeheartedly is saying, even to me, that I've been libelous of him. So why would the lawyer make a submission yesterday for have the matter in camera or not for nobody? No, the judge says no. The judge also said that the media has to be responsible. Obviously, time to make a thing and I'm fucking about it. That the media has to be responsible. And if it's not so, because how a court matters when you report in a court matter, are you saying what the judge said? You have to use the letter. You have to convey that message to the letter. As to what the judge said. Me saying what the judge said, I saying the submissions I saying what going on. Tomorrow you can give you all an in-depth. Because today is trial. The judge plan for done the case today. Obviously, we gotta wait for the judge to do his summary and, 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 and give a judgment. You know, I get judgment today, but the judge will wrap up the case today. Sarabu will be back in court this morning. Right? Because Sarabu, in a magistrate's court, when asked, gave sworn testimony that Azadine Mohammed was a suspect in paper shards murder him and what you the gentleman mark Grimon, who was the chief security officer for the mohammeds at the time one of the other submissions was what the judge gonna be ruling on whether because there's a technicality as it relates to making the other party aware 14 days in advance that you're coming up with this Sarabu thing. There's a technicality of one day. The judge is going to make a decision on that this morning. Um, the judge has ruled on the fact that the case is a public thing. Nothing. They ain't got nothing. They ain't got nothing to keep secret. Everything is public. The case of the magistrate's court, nobody reporting, Panda. Well, TBN is in and the critic is reporting. I mean, why here say? Are you going to sit down in the court and hear from myself? I can tell you, I look at the judge. I look at his body language. And it's a young judge. It's very... Discipline, you got judges that express a level of arrogance and all them thing now. I find the judge to be very disciplined. I find the judge to be very composed. I think he has a very good understanding of what he's doing. I'm no lawyer. I'm looking at the human aspect of it. And once people in any environment meet certain criteria there are certain things you can expect of them if somebody acts in a professional manner you tend to get the professional result of them judges are as it relates to the highest as it relates to the order in the way how they compose themselves at least most judges and how they carry themselves and what is expected of them right so today again, now the big thing is, nobody want rep nobody report the big fucking Glenn Lalan Kaicho news there. Big Glenn Lalan Kaicho news there. How everybody play they know this matter going on. Then, Azadin Muhammad, through his lawyer, because you got advice a lot, try to make sure no media in there. They want to keep it. We want to keep it fucking secret. His attention like his attention is going to get. But what they're accustomed. Imagine Reuters wrote an article about these people. And nobody down here run the story. Everybody play like they fucking see the story. Maybe Garden Mosley or one more body had already. Everybody stay away from the story.
They don't like people to talk about them. But this is where you're a public figure now. Is you look for attention, you go about looking for attention, put yourself out there. Like me. I can't dodge attention. If he come and says something, I can't dodge it. If he cuss me, no matter I got face it head on. And imagine I talking, they talking me fucking story. Why are you going to court with money and then me talking you fucking story? By story time. Like covering every court matter. Yes, yeah, sir. There's a likelihood very soon we'd interview Raj. I can't interview, we can't interview Bascom now because he is a part of the court system. We don't want to create an, an atmosphere of prejudice. He's part of, a, of an ongoing matter before the court. But we can sit down with all them and you can hear the story out of the horse's mouth. One of the things is Raja can know nothing. He has not been very vocal. He's been made out to be this demon. Well, it's two fucking them. It's Raja can and he. We done, we over. All right, oh shit, we talk long enough. I'm telling you, I'm going. So they had four submissions. Let me, let me get it. One, Punai, um, Punai tried to... Get ring fencing, basically in camera, not to have what happens in the court put out. And suddenly he says, they see me, they write away, they, they shut up this thing, they want to get The judge said, no, that can't happen. But the judge did issue a warning. Obviously, it's to me, that you could be in contempt of the court if you're not reported how it is. Me, I used to work at Kaicho News, me know what court reporting is about and all them thing now. So me stay away from saying the judge say I will. There were four submissions. Um, another submission is whether um, Sarabu will be allowed to give evidence and the judge will have his ruling this morning. And there were two other, there were two other, um, submissions made let me see let me see imagine yesterday I go you know fucking saint I go yesterday by um cemetery road for by Dalpuri and they done so critical you gotta watch yourself you gotta get security boy mom yes eh? everybody know them when you talk about them, how they scunt you eat decent and stuff. When you talk about you, people as right to me think somebody will come for kill them. Eh? Because where is a fucking saint? Maya, give me a fucking break. Mark Ramon, both thing, thing, thing. The trial set to. So today again is court. Because justice hard and end, right? Um, 